Be easy on him, guys. Coach Baldwin just calls you a legend, so you got a lot to live up to. Ooh, I don't know about that. I appreciate that, yeah. Coach B. You have uh, obviously su such a legacy here. What's, what's it like being back uh, on campus, being back part of the program? Unbelievable. I would say the thing that stands out more is just what we have going on right now. The direction that Coach Wilcox is going with this program, the coaching staff. I'm, I'm surrounded by legends. I get to learn every day with these coaches and uh, the, the current players we have. Uh, those are the things that makes it special now. I think the fact that I went here and a lot of alumni come back, that's just icing on the cake. Uh, yeah. So we have a great thing going, great vision by Coach Wilcox, and we're just excited to get this thing rolling. I was asking Pat Laird that first week about working with you, and he said you actually, he's known you for quite a while. Your relationship goes back a little bit. Can you tell me about the Yeah, so with Pat Laird, when, when he first came in, I was special teams quality control working with, uh, with the previous staff, and he actually brought this up the other day, but there was a, Every now and then, guys that were on the scout team, special teams, Coach Tom Riddall and I would talk about it and we'd kind of send the guys uh, to the next room and say, all right, you're ready for, for game time action. And he, he made it a point to bring up a story of when I told him and had the conversation, hey, Larry, you're ready to go get action. And that's when he first started playing special teams as a young buck. Now he's, a, now he's an old guy out here. So um, I thought it was pretty cool that he remembered that. But yeah, we go back a couple years now, so it's, it's awesome to be back with him work together. You surprised some of us last year with, with what he did. Could you have seen that coming from him with the way he, he worked? Absolutely. And you know, I'm not a, I can't, I can't call the future, but uh, none of this stuff that he does is surprising to me because of the kind of individual he is. Uh, he, he has the right mentality day in, day out. He's never satisfied with where he is. Um, he's, and that's just not on the field. Everybody sees what he does on the field, but day in, day out, he's in there doing homework in the meeting room. He's in there studying, watching extra film, breaking it down, being a great leader, uh, doing, explaining small little details, things he's learned to the young guys. Uh, he's, he's amazing to have in the room. So to go back to it, the things he does day to day and the things he did last year in the last few years are not surprising to me. When I watched it from last year, I said, yep, that's Laird. Do you think he's even better this year than he was last year? Has he improved? Absolutely, and that's the hope. And as a coach, that's my hope day in, day out, is to uh, make sure I improve as a coach and help players improve, um, student athletes improve on and off the field. So I would say, yes, he's getting better every single day. And as good as he was last year, that's still a possibility for him to get get better. Any and fine particular area everything. that he's you know. um, One thing that's been awesome in the spring, and it, it's similar with all the backs, is that they we're getting a lot of individual time and having the background of last year, having the in install, the offense installed last year, going forward, we're able to fine tune and pick what, pick apart little details that they need improvement on. So now when we come out here before practice and individual drills, we can really focus on things, specific things that we need to get work, uh, get better on. At the start, did it see, did, were they teaching you a little bit? Uh, Cause they obviously had spent a year in the offense and you were, you were just learning. Absolutely. I, th I, You know what? I learn things from these guys every day. And I don't care if I've been in the same offense for 20 years, I'm still going to learn from, you know, Laird and Biagio and DC and the third. I'm going to learn from those guys also. So uh, it helps out that they did know it. And like I said, Coach Baldwin is a guru and, and does a great job explaining things to me as well. So uh, it's, a, it's a team effort. So it's good to have the, the players did everything last year. So they have things that they did. And my whole goal was just to improve on what they did last year, take the, take the foundation that they laid and then continue to improve on that all the way around. Coach Wilcox said that the, the call to hire you may, be, may, have t may have taken less than two minutes, it may have been a 30 second call. Hey, you wanna come? Yeah, all right, cool. Be here hey, in two weeks. Yeah, it's a no brainer. I've, <laughs> I've, me and Coach Wilcox have stayed in touch the last five, six, seven years. Um, going back to my sophomore year, he came in, he was a linebacker coach. And I think it was cool that we were able to form a relationship even back then. Uh, Typically on staffs, you have the linebackers talk to linebackers, receivers play receiver, uh, but we, we formed a relationship back then. So when he was at UW and I was at Fresno State and you know he's at SC, although we crossed paths and stayed in touch. Uh, so, and also having the guys that I work with um, be in touch with Coach Wilcox as well, Coach Hawkins over at Davis yeah. and all those guys. So uh, it worked out and it, I'm excited. Um, one thing I wanted to ask, you see uh, Brad Northnagel working with you, and he has like the UFC gloves on, and they're doing the punch of the ball out. Where'd that come from? So, if anybody knows Brad Northnagel, they know he's an intense guy. We love it. We're, <laughs> we're thrilled to have him out here, and I'm excited to have him in, in the meeting room and 
on the field. Uh, we really overemphasize a lot of drills at this point. Fundamentals, techniques, obviously ball security at running back is huge. So to have him there and really emphasize punching the ball out, we thought it was cool. Sometimes we, you know, we'll have the stick with the pot, punching, uh, the boxing glove. The, the, Rob, the, glove the Ron there. Gould Memorial there boxing go, glove on a stick. stick. <laughs> so I said, hey, let's try to make that a little more realistic. So we just do some UFC gloves on him, and he goes at it. He had a, he had a couple combos on you know, <laughs> earlier in practice, one-two punch, get a few balls out. But he takes pride in it. They put a little wager on it, push-ups or something, if he can get balls out during individual drills. But it's a good way, add a little fun in it, and also just get our guys going. And, and it's realistic, and it, it does uh, help them improve on their, on their craft. Cool. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, bro.